Hey everybody, this is Rizion, a Rag developer with 5 years of experience and today I want to share with you how I made an emoji picker component at Increaser so that you can find some interesting bits for your project. Let's jump in. When you create a project in Increaser, you can assign emoji to it. And to change emoji, I have this emoji picker. So when you click here, you can see this pop-up window where you can find emoji that you like and assign it. This is the component that renders the form and as we can see, we only pass two properties to the emoji picker. It is value, a string and unchange. In the emoji picker component, we have a menu opener component that is basically a button with uh, a little bit of styling. We have this SVG hover, so when we hover this, SVG becomes white to make it look more interactive and in order to render the emoji picker, I use this popover component that I talked about in one of the previous videos, so you can go and check it out. But basically, it allows uh, this menu to show in a proper place relative to the anchor. And anchor, in this case, is this element. So we assign anchor to menu opener, then we pass it to the popover component so it knows where to show the menu. Also, we pass on click outside and we enable screen cover. And important point is this is visible prop. So if we go and take a look at the popover, we could see that it will do everything, but if it's not visible, it will return now. So it will create popover node and everything, but it won't render it. And we do this, we explicitly render the menu, even so it's not open, in order to force uh, the load of emoji picker. Since this is more of a heavy component and we also use um, React Lazy in order to not increase the bundle size, we want to pre-render it first so that everything is, feels a bit more faster. And while we're waiting, we show the spinner. So if we try to reload the page and try to do this again, so we press new project and if we press right away, it still loads and we show the spinner. So that's the idea behind an emoji picker uh, main component. In order to show this emoji picker, I use uh, the emoji mart library. And we also need to import styles here, but it, everything that related to the library itself happens in the emoji picker menu. So that's the only place where we explicitly use the library. So if we go to the emoji picker menu, first we render styles. There are two choices. You can just import CSS from the emoji mark library, or you can take the CSS and use it like this by creating um, global styles with styled components. I did this, but I, I think like I didn't modify any of the styles, maybe only font size, but you can do that the only downside is that you would need to update this every time you update the library. So both choices are fine. It depends. If you want to update styles, you can do this approach. So we import styles and then we render the pickers, uh, picker. So here we have auto focus. We use uh, dark them because the app is in general is dark. We set both show preview and show skin tone to false in order to not have this um, a little bit ugly footer. Then on the select, we check if it is the base emoji by checking if it has a native property. So native is just like, uh, native would be an emoji itself. So uh, for example, if we try you know, on the Mac, do this and select an emoji, it would be emoji native, just a string with uh, an emoji. And it only has one property on select that we use uh, here. In order to allow lazy load, we also export um, the component as a default. So that's all. I hope it was useful for you. Stay productive.